Hello and welcome back to Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two sets against each other and you vote for the figures on our team. This week, Simeon is building out of Secret Wars Battle World, and I, your host, Calder Ness, am building out of DC's Rebirth. Awesome. So excited. Simeon Battle World. Yeah. Who's, who's on your team, my man? So the only figure I got two votes for two votes this time, uh, was Ultimate Thor. So I'm playing him at 100 points, which I need to fix his dial because he's currently on his 125-point line. Um, but almost all the Thors in Secret Wars Battleworld had the police team ability. They have the Asgardian Battleworld Asgardian uh, police keywords for the most part. And then this one in particular also has Celebrity, Detective, and Warrior. He has Improved Targeting Ignores Hindering Terrain. He has the crack the case trait, which most of them do, and that is once per turn when an opposing character within four squares and line of fire makes an attack, give ultimate Thor an evidence token. And then you can remove two evidence tokens for free to make an attack. So um, it always worked like fun. It was always a fun thing. I don't think it was ever like super amazing. I never like pulled anything crazy off with it, but you could really stack up a ton of tokens with these guys just by placing them in the right spot. Uh, six range, one lightning bolt. He also has the passing the ultimate hammer. Ultimate Thor's equipped objects have unequipped drop instead of any other unequip effect. When ultimate Thor is KO'd, if he was equipped with an object, you may equip it to an unequipped friendly character within six squares instead of placing it. I never once did this. Never even tried. Mm. I just never equipped him with anything. Um, it is kind of cool, though. And then last, he has a special speed powers first three clicks on his 100-point line, and that is Mr. Ultimate Thor. Charge free. Place Ultimate Thor adjacent to another friendly character within range that has Asgardian keyword and Thor in the name. Let's see if I have any of those. Uh, next up is Chase Stein. Three range, special speed, and special attack power. 35 points. He's got Runaways and Scientist. He has the Runaways trait, which is on the run, stealth, sidestep, but if only if an opposing character is within four squares. Uh, Leap Frog is his special speed. Leap Climb, Passenger 2, if he's part of a Runaways theme team, he has Passenger 6 and may carry regardless of wing Ooh. symbol. Um, and then he has a special attack power that is Flamethrower and X-Ray Goggles, as you can see on his sculpt. Uh, energy Explosion, Improved Targeting, Hindering, power an adjacent friendly character can use improved targeting hindering this turn so not the worst thing he's just a 35 point taxi for this team but the runaways were really solid in this set um yeah molly hayes is probably like my favorite her and alex wilder made a really solid combo and then next up my big brute is thanos at 140 points uh, so he's got a lot going on. He's got Infiltrate the Core. Stealth, during Force Construction, choose a generic keyword or a Battleworld keyword. Thanos gains the chosen keyword. So this would normally um, allow me to make a themed team. So if I had picked Battleworld Asgardia, or Asgardian, um, whatever their name is. I'm going to look at it. Battleworld Asgard. Ah, uh, just the name of the place. Um, if I had picked that, it would have been a theme team, except Chase Stein doesn't have it, so he was the one that broke it. Uh, but yeah, he'll pick that anyhow. So he gains that keyword okay. during force construction. Nice. Time to stop my duplicates and reveal myself. Free, deal one unavoidable damage to another friendly character that's adjacent to an opposing character. Ah, I love free dealing myself damage. And then once per turn when a character of 25 points or more is KO'd by Thanos, give Thanos an infinity token. So it has to be by him, but the infinity tokens are pretty cool. So uh, his third trait is one stone away from the infinite. Free modify X different combat values of Thanos plus two until your next turn, where X is the number of his infinity tokens. So the cool mm. thing about this is you don't remove them, and each turn it's a free action. So if one turn you want it to be defense, and then the next turn you want it to be damage or anything like of that sort, it's pretty solid. And then lastly, he has travel back in time to try again. So this is a special damage power. Probability control. 
when Thanos uses it to target an attack that would have hit Thanos and it misses him after all re-rolling, generate a Thanos duplicate, which is 007A uh, from the set, on the click one that appears after the orange KO. This game, it has zero point value for all effects, including scoring, which also means the generated ones can't be KO'd to give him more infinity tokens, which is sad. Next up is Dino Thor. So it's a Thor in the name and has uh, whatever mm. whatever the stuff that Ultimate Thor checked for as Guardian keyword. Yeah, he's got that too. So uh, he's also got Animal. He starts with Hypersonic, 11 attack, 4 damage for 90 points. Uh, pretty solid little piece. He's got a bunch of Steel Energy and Regen throughout his dial. Also has the PD team ability. Only 5 range on him. He's got that same Crack the Case uh, trait that we saw earlier. He's got Obstruction of Justice. When Dino Thor takes damage from an opposing character's attack, after resolutions, Dino Thor can use Earthbound Neutralize until that opponent's next turn. So we'll see how that works now that pushing is no longer a thing. Uh, I feel like it's going to make him a little bit better. He also has a special damage power for his first four clicks, which is Scales of Justice. Get it? Because he's a scaly dinosaur. Uh, free. Modify an adjacent opposing character's combat values minus one until your next turn. If you do, modify an adjacent friendly character's combat values plus one until your next turn. Which is seems really good now that you can't perplex damage. It seems really good that it's modifying all values minus oh, yeah. and plus. And then not quite lastly. Oh. I forgot after Thanos, uh, here's the duplicate. He makes it on click three, which is running shot with probability control. So it's pretty good for that. Ooh, that's pretty beefy, man. Yeah, 11 for four or 10 for four, depending on which click. Um, but last but not least is Thoris, who was actually pretty stellar prior to the rules changes. So we'll see how they do now. Same PD team ability, 30 points, same crack the case um, trait, but... The special damage power doesn't start until click two, so we'll see if it actually matters. But it's first on the scene, probability control, but only if a friendly character of 50 points or more was KO'd by an opponent's attack this game. So it used to be a thing where you would stay on your top click until you lost that character, and then you'd push to this, and all of a sudden you had a prob on your team. Uh, but now now it's not a, you're not able to push, so... Not even sure if this character will do more than just uh, be an enhancement sidestep. Enhancement sidestep PD type of deal. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's How not about, bad. We'll, we not shall bad see. All. Yeah. all right, starting us off. I'm going to go ahead and have Robin. This is uh, So everybody but Starfire is going to be at their whatever lower point line. So here we have Robin. Pretty cool. He's got some charge blades. He's got this first trait, which is Super Suns. He can use the team abilities of friendly characters in four squares, unless they are uncopyable. So it's like a worldwide copy for all friendly characters. Pretty cool. This Titans Reborn. Robin is given a move action after resolutions. He can use the Titans team ability at no cost, which is just to heal somebody else with the Titans team ability. And that roll d6, deal him some damage, just like X Men. Uh, special speed power doesn't matter because it's not on a 75 point line. And then he's got his defense power, giant symbol, invulnerability, adjacent friendly characters, modified defense value plus one. So pretty darn, pretty darn good, this little Robin guy. He almost made my uh, Scott Porter Silver Age team. I was going to do him and a Batman. Um, I decided to scrap it though once they. That'd be fun. Because you can't combine Batman animated because uh, those are like different universes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that Titans Reborn ability, very similar to the X-Men ability that came out in Uncanny X-Men almost three whole years what was before that, uh... Rebirth. <laughs> I think it was... DC like gets theirs when they get theirs. That's how it works. Yeah. Uh, Dawnbreaker here also, 75 points. Green Lantern core team ability, a little bit of running shot, pen blast, improved targeting, hindering. He has the re reckless disregard for life trait. Once per turn, when Dawnbreaker targets and hits a single opposing character with a close attack, after resolutions, deal each other character that is adjacent to either Dawnbreaker or the target one penetrating damage. And it includes friendly characters, usually the target. So if we choose Dawnbreaker's square, it'll deal damage to the target. If we choose the target square, it's not adjacent, so it'll 
just do everybody but the target. It'll, you know, so kind of neat. It would also deal Dawnbreaker penetrating, which is interesting, but here we are. Anyways, uh, we will not hide in the shadows anymore. It is very reckless. Uh, when Dawnbreaker occupies clear terrain and is targeted by a ranged combat attack, you modify his defense value plus one. When targeted by an opposing character that can use stealth, Modify his defense plus one. When targeted by an opposing character, occupying hindering terrain, modify defense value plus one. And if it does all three of them, he gets plus three defense. The, all these modifiers stack. Very cool. Thank you, John Breaker. His last trait is Nightmare Constructs, which isn't going to be used this game, but it's Barrier. Whenever an opposing character generates one or more bystanders, after resolutions, you may generate the same bystander. These bystanders you generate, modify combat values plus one, and have max one this game. Yeah. Which is cool to copy bystanders, but Pretty there simple. were no. I don't even remember. I think it's just Black Panther that makes bystanders in uh, Secret Wars Battle World. Gertrude it's York like has chaos. the dino. Oh, Gertrude York. Okay. Um, yeah. That's really about it. Other than that, yeah. I, that and Black Panther might be it. Yeah. I don't like Black Panther. Yeah. All right. Uh, everybody's favorite alien girl, Starfire, here. She's at her whole 100 points because she got three whole votes. This week, Quintessence, Titans. She also is a Titans Reborn, which is a, given a move action. She can use Titans as free. Uh, she has a special speed power on her very last click, which is Charge, Flurry, Force Blast, Earthbound, Neutralized, uh, which is much better now. That doesn't get rid of her willpower. And then she has a special attack power, Energy Explosion. Starfire may use it at no cost instead of the ranged attack while using hypersonic speed. You still have her range. Awesome. Very cool. And then on her very last click, she has Stop Combat Reflexes, which is the Battle Kanga Tournament. Like Starfire. It's pretty neat. But yeah, here's Starfire for you. Yeah. Next up, Starfire's main squeeze. Old Dick Grayson here. Ca clocking in at 50 whole points. He's got uh, improved movement, nerves elevated and hindering. He also has the Titans Reborn trait. Uh, and then he has a special attack or damage power. Does your utility belt still have a fax machine too? Leadership. Free, choose one, close combat expert, range combat expert, perplex or outwit. Nightwing can use a chosen power until your next turn. That's a little bit better now that range combat expert will stack with running shot and makes him, makes him a lot better of an attacker, I would say. But yeah, yeah. some nifty little pick of power from Nightwing here. And then last, uh, but certainly not least, potentially the best, ladies and gentlemen, we have Sexy Lexi, bald is beautiful. Uh, Sex Luther is clocking in at 100 points here. <clears throat> he has protected outwit. And once per action for all characters with this trait, when an opposing character would target another friendly character without wit, both players roll a d6. If your result is higher, that's my result, that friendly character has protected out wit until the end of your next turn. Very cool. It doesn't say they can't use it, so if they get past protected out wit, they can still outwit them, sadly. Um, but it does give that one character protected out wit. He has a special defense power on his first three clicks. Pervious. Lex Luthor takes a maximum of one damage from the first attack that hits him each turn. Really, I really, really like that power. Uh, and then his special damage power is show them how super a man can be. Leadership and outwit. When Lex Luthor uses leadership and succeeds, this turn, if he uses outwit, you may choose two powers instead. Pretty nifty, Lex. So yeah, I like it. I really do dig it. All right, uh, we're playing 400 points. We are on the... Robinson Park, post cataclysm, no man's land map. I really, I always kind of liked this map. So yeah, uh, I won roll. I'll go ahead and move up first here. I'm gonna have little Damian Wayne here. He's gonna copy the Green Lantern team ability. Oh, he doesn't. He's gonna copy. just go just ahead and move on. Can use all the team gets abilities. It. He gets it. For yeah, so he's so got it. He's got yeah. all of them. Well, he already has Batman family, and he already has Batman family and Titans. So there's it's, only one that's like, oh, I guess JLA. Justice League. Oh plus man, one speed. He also has JLA. Ah, He's got plus so one speed. Broke, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. All right. What are you doing? We can get all the way to there <laughs> if we want close. to. I'm just see. I'm just like looking. <laughs> like we can get all the way to here, which is kind of nifty. So we'll, we'll slap him there. Slap night swing there. Oh, so I'll call him DB. Slap him here. 
We'll Starfire. Up her there. We'll have old Sex Luther go right here. Well, it goes an action token to the little Grayson. Uh, we'll choose Perplex with Nightwings, whatever uh, power, and we'll perplex up the defense value on Robin. Okay. And it's your turn. So everyone adjacent to Robin has a plus one. Robin's got a plus one from Nightwing. Yes. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Too bad I have all the PD in the world. Um, I don't know if that'll actually help. Let's see. Who's the closest? We've got three, four, five, six, seven. So I'd have to be... Looks like I, I probably won't be making an attack this turn. Unless I want to with good old Dino Thor. Oh, forgot to put Ultimate Thor on his starting line. Disqualified. So, Ultimate Thor. He's got Charge and then place him adjacent within range, which is 6. Dino Thor has Hypersonic, so he can definitely get up there. Chase Stein can carry two people. Uh, the other two have sidestep, so Thanos could potentially sidestep to like this square, and then yeah, he's one square out of the range, so there's no no shooting anybody this turn, especially not Nightwing since he has Batman ally. Um, yeah, I think what we will do. Let's see. I can get a few attacks off if I do this just right, but it probably won't be. Dino Thor only has five range, so from here he can only see her. So yeah, we'll have Dino Thor hypersonic. One, two, three, four, five six to here one two three squares away and six squares within range of that guy um yeah we'll just have him hypersonic to there he will target good old starfire with his 11 for four okay to her 20. Yeah, let's roll Starfire Shape Change. Good, okay. good. I'm going to leave him there. Actually, no, I'm going to move him back. Okay. Uh, let, me, let me double check this guy. Uh, charge free place him adjacent to another friendly character within range. Then he's got a five speed charge really doesn't matter. I'll just leave him there, and then I'll have Ultimate Thor free get placed here. Um, I'm going to have Chase Stein move seven, carrying the other two. So we'll go... We'll go seven to there, and we'll drop Thorus here and then we'll drop Thanos there I forgot to roll for oh wait that's uh that's for the probability control thing everybody does it off of a leadership when they generate somebody yeah does it off I know it's yeah when you said attack that he has to prob so it's super weird um but anyhow uh I'll charge in with ultimate Thor to here, carrying my dino Thor. Mm. And he's going to try and punch Nightwing. So he's an 11 for 4. I don't get to activate okay. uh, dino Thor's special thing until after this attack, attack resolves. Yeah. 
Ooh, that's gonna hit. Oh, a 20. Oh, a Merc Nightwing here. Four damage, yeah. And then... Dino Thor will apply his... Let me double read this. Uh, free, modify adjacent opposing characters' combat values minus one until your next turn. If you do, modify an adjacent friendly characters' combat values plus one. So, uh, ultimate Thor here will get plus ones, and Starfire will get minus ones until my next turn. What a savage. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Everything, my man. Yeah. I, I have two side steps I could do, but okay. I think that they're fine as is. So Ooh. I'll leave them there. Oh, actually, I, I have three. Chase I'll go ahead. Now, side step, now that he's within four. Wow. That is Super true. taxi man. All right. I'll leadership with Lex Luthor. Wow. All right, cool. That was the only leadership that mattered because uh, the other guy is going to want the token. Sweet. Alrighty then. Starfire's got negative one combat value. She'll still be a 10 for three. She is now a worse hypersonic. She also has quintessence. I don't need to roll for that, though. There's no point. Let's see. What do we want to have? What do we want to have go on here? A lot of running shots. We can do a lot of we can do a lot of biz nasty with these running shots. So let's go ahead. Direct diagonal. Yeah. Get out of that here. one. Giant man. There. So we're gonna have to uh Oh wait, he's not is he not giant until or is it just his dial? He is giant. It's his defense. His defense okay. gives it to him. His de okay, so once he's off his defense, then he becomes standard. Okay. Yep. You got it, man. You got it. Hey, we're in a running shot with Dawnbreaker. to here go after Thoris, i suppose ah an attack that i can see i will get a crack the case token let me double check wait a second i do three damage Ugh, i don't want to go after thoris wow who do we want to shoot yeah that's not good i want to i want to deal some man damage i don't want to deal no <laughs> baby damage uh, I guess we'll just we'll shoot ultimate Thor, so you'll still get a you'll still get a crack the case token though. Yeah. Ooh, that will hit. Dang. And I do Three not have penetrating damage. Yeah, I don't have anyone within line of fire to prob that. One, two, three. Um. Let's see, Thoris gets one. I think Dino Thor can see that, so he gets one. I can't keep in mind I can't do anything until I have two on the card. But then Ultimate Thor will yeah. also get a crack the case token. Okay. Lex, okay, you can only move out five. That's a little rough. It's a little rough for us. Well, Lex either go here, get up the enhancement. From Dawnbreaker. Uh oh. And let's see. Let's see. Who do we want to shoot at? Uh, Dino Thor will have a. They have a 19. Yeah, he'll have a 19. So Lexither will just shoot Thoris, I guess. Okay. I guess we have five damage. We'll, we'll murderize Chase Stein, actually. <laughs> okay. We might as well, I guess. Ah. Ooh, that will hit. For five. Five penetrating damage from old sexy Lexi here. Just enough. Right, and then let's go ahead have Robin slash Goliath. Um see let's actually have starfire take a swing against ultimate thor Ooh. 10 to a 16 17 i have plus one combat values 
That does not matter. Oh, sorry. So for four damage, I will only take three. Three. Well, it's four three damage because I have negative. So you only um, take two. Let's see if that mattered. One, two. No, it didn't matter. He died after two. Uh, let's see. Does Dino Thor have protected uh, outwit or stealth or anything? No. He does not. Okay, we'll go ahead and out twit his super senses and let's just go ahead charge robin i don't know here hmm. punch him with old robin goliath ooh nope that's a 16 we'll miss yeah yeah. Token. It is it is your go, Simeon. It's your go. All right. Let's see. Man. Don't really have a ton of options, but I don't really have not a ton of options either. Um an adequate amount of options is what I'll say I have. I could shoot at good old Robin for four damage thanks to Thoris's enhancement with uh, Thanos. Mm. It's only a ten for four. Uh, what is what is Robin's defense? Is it invuln and then the plus one? Thing? It's invulnerability. Okay. Yeah, plus one gives everybody else, but yeah, he has invuln. I think I will attempt to break away with hyper. Uh, with the new rules, hypersonic still needs a four through six, so. Yeah, uh, see, that's why I didn't hypersonic with really uh, rough. yeah, or sapphire or starfire. Um, in that case, I will just sidestep Thanos to here. Uh, okay. Dino Thor will free drop Star Sapphire's uh, combat values by one, and then increase Thanos's mm -hmm. by one, and then Dino okay. Thor will attempt to punch Star Sapphire. Uh, go ahead, she'll roll. Shape change. It's a one. Go for it. Uh, ah. Hits for four, so two. Two whole damage. Let's see. Not a ton of great options. Um. You know what I will do, though? I'm going to crack a case on Star Sapphire with my Dino Thor. Oh, you will try. I will go down to one crack the case token. I think it's just a free remove two evidence. Make an attack, yeah. So I'll mm. still just be an 11 for four. That'll hit an 18. Well, hit three damage three okay well i did that trigger her stop click so all right uh now i jeez this thanos just having that pulse wave top dial is kind of bad for me uh what i could do is pulse wave my own team get thorst to that prob click that might help me out it's going to be one damage. Uh, Dino Thor doesn't get too much worse, but he loses his hypersonic. So I think that's the route I'm going to go. So he's just going to be a, okay. a 10 for one into everybody on the map right now, uh, except Star Sapphire. She's not in the blast radius. Yeah. It wouldn't matter because she's protected. That'll hit 19s, yeah. which... I'll go ahead and click everybody down one. And then the only thing I've got left is Thoris does have three damage, so Thoris is going to try and punch 
Damian Wayne. Robin here? Yeah. Okay. My 10 for 3. Will hit. Will hit for one after. And then I will remove two crack the case tokens. You fool. Attacking me was a mistake. Okay. A free attack. Ha ha. Does a 16 hit? Um, a 16 will miss. I will prob it with Thoris because a 50 point character in the form uh, yes. of Ultimate Thor has been KO'd. Yes. Will 16, 16 will still miss. Hit? I will prob it with. What a shame. <laughs> with Who Thanos. else? Thanos is my only other prop. Okay. Alright. Oh gosh. No. Oh, that was almost off the table there. But it was four. A little cock there, Simeon. Was it? I couldn't see from over here. Just, I'm just uh... kidding. I'm just kidding. We'll we'll deal Damien damage here. We'll put we'll we'll put we'll we'll put Damien on click six. You're fine. Um Don't worry about it. Man, I think that's I can try and sidestep Thoris, but that doesn't really do me any good. Yeah, I think that's all I can really do. Um, yeah, it's your go. Okay. Two leadership with Lex Luthor. Two doesn't get it. Let's do Star Sapphire's Quintessence. One for willpower here. Three also doesn't get it. No one else has leadership, so that's fine. Let's see. I want to make some big boy plays. Lex Luthor. He's sitting on. Click two. We're on to perplex now, sadly. Really wanted some of that dope, dope outwit, but <laughs> it is what it is. It's a real shame. It's a real shame. We'll perplex down Dino Thor's defense, and we'll have. Uh, Star Sapphire, go ahead and flurry. See what she can do. Wow. Make it past these senses rolls. So it should be a 10. Like yeah. Ooh, that will hit a 19. Mm. I cannot see with either of my probs. Super senses says, Does the dino live? No, the dino dies. So it's only three damage. It's only three damage. Three whole damage. That'll take me off of that special damage click, though. So going from click two okay. to click five. Second. An attack. Um, that'll hit a 16. Not very good. That'll hit a 17. Um, I don't know. When I lose, it doesn't well, say... Well, you do have perplex down defense. Oh, yeah. So yeah, if I if my defense is perplexed down, then it hits. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't yeah. know if her attack and damage values go back up. It does not mm -hmm. matter damage wise because three will also kill him. Okay. Well, there we go. All perfectly legal, ladies and gents. Wow. <laughs> okay. Let's have Lex Luthor. Oh, does he even have running shot? I always, I always forget this guy. Sure Doesn't running shot still? Okay, but he's a ten now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can't see colors. You know that. Well, running shot, carrying. Well, actually, before we running shot, we're gonna try to sidestep break away with Robin. He's no longer a giant, so he does not automatically break away. As a three, so it fails. So yeah, we're in a running shot, but we're gonna carry a friend Dawnbreaker with us. And we'll go ahead and have Lex Luthor just shoot <laughs> Pen Blast Thanos here. Don't like see if that. we can get off a little, little 10 for 4 action with the enhancement. Oh, that will miss. Want to want to try to prob it to miss you to get a get a kid I don't get a Thanos clone. <laughs> that would have hit him, so it, it had to hit him. Have hit? Oh, so never mind. But yeah, won't. since that yeah, won't since do it. All right. Didn't... Okay. All right. We'll just go ahead and clear Goliath, and we'll clear Green Light or Robin now. And it's your go. A uh, a Thanos clone might shift the 
the match in my favor at this point, though. Um, I think it could. I think it could. Let's see how much worse. So I didn't get any crack the case tokens that turn because Calder. Well, actually, I would have with Dino Thor from the Starfire attacks, but then he died. Uh, but Calder was clever with his movements and pinched the line of fire. So pinching it, baby. Let me see here. <laughs> Why am I checking that guy? Uh, yeah, this is the one. Okay, so Thoris does get worse on click three, quite a bit worse. So I don't want to pulse wave again. I don't have that nifty Dino Thor upping my values anymore. Um, I think we're just going to go for the KO on Goliath. Sadly, I don't have anything that boosts my stuff, so... We'll just have Thoris try and punch first. A 10 into the 17. Okay. Four hits. For How much? For three? One, two, three. That'll kill, I'll kill Robin. Okay. Now I do have a PD available. So Than it's like increasing Thanos' attack by one almost. Uh, do I go after Lex or Green Light? Green Light's in clear terrain, so he's an 18. It's crossing hindering, so he's a 19. I can PD him back down to an 18, so I'd need to roll an 8. With does tries. also have ESD right now, oh, since he is on yes. his also, second click. Also that, so, so yeah, the worst option for me currently. Um... Alternatively, I could try and shoot at Star Sapphire. Let's see. If I sidestep Thoris, 1-2 to there. No. No line of fire there. Let's see where my line of fire goes. Hmm. Not looking promising. I don't think I can get line of fire with both and still be adjacent to each other. So what we'll do is we will sidestep Thoris. Let's go nowhere. Let's just sidestep Thanos to here and take a shot at... Lex Luthor. Ooh, going after sexy Lexi. Yeah, it's my worst yeah. shot, but it's also like the the best uh, stats wise that I can muster. Oh, that was a terrible. Roll those dice again. The Just map was like the no. Edge of the map. Uh, that'll hit an eighteen. Okay. Well, Lex Luthor's got impervious. Four. That'll miss. So that'll deal Lex Luthor one damage. One whole damage. Uh, I think I will sidestep Thoris to right there. Uh, we'll go back one further. We'll sidestep Thoris to this square. And I'll call that good. Okay. Well, there's really not much we can do this turn. We could move Dawn Breaker. There's no sense in doing that. So Lex Luthor is just going to perplex up. I uh, will, yeah, perplex up his own defense. Oh, we'll wait. We better, actually, we'll see if we can take a token off of Star Sapphire. Starfire. I keep calling her Star Sapphire. Starfire. <laughs> if Quintessence. Yeah. Uh, we do get to remove a token with Quintessence. So oh, no. this is pretty big. This is, this is pretty big. Uh, she is charged Flurry Force Blast right now. Um, You're going to Force Blast me? What are you gonna do? Um, force blast yeah, you? I'm gonna force blast you. I'm gonna force blast you. Let's uh yeah, let's have her charge, huh? One, two, three, four. Uh I guess Lexuther would have So what's fun down is prior to the thing. rules change, that would have been half speed coming out of hindering. Yes, I would not have been no able to do that normally. And this also would push her to death normally. Uh because she'd lose willpower. But neither of those things 
are like that's that's just not a thing anymore. So what does her yeah, she just can't carry. really do? No, no carry. kind of nothing. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. Yeah, it's no carry. Like she she couldn't go cool, into like I guess she couldn't go to this square first and then down. She had to go in a straight line. Yeah. That's what it did. But we'll go after Thoris first here. All right. Oh, of course. See, I knew I knew once I said I'm going to waste my first attack on Thoris that it was going to be something ridiculous like this. Awesome. I will, Very cool. I will prob Thanks. it with Thoris. We'll prob it. I guess he does have a lot of probs, I suppose. Would have hurt a little more, I guess, if I targeted Thanos and then it missed. Uh, that'll hit an 18. Taking three damage. Let's see. Four damage. Do you have toughness still, or I have toughness, toughness the whole yeah. time? Oh, okay. Uh, I'll have oh, that's that's so sad, Simeon. If only you hadn't pulse waved yeah. all your characters. <laughs> to be fair, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Uh, Thoris will take yeah. the three and die. Okay. Second attack goes after Mister Thanos here. Thanos himself. Ooh, that will hit. I will. Prob that potentially with for damage. There it is. All right, now See if this it. misses, this could Give be me. pretty, pretty big. Give me. Uh, I'll hit a seventeen. No, it's off by one. I want my duplicate. Uh, roll for impervious. And that's. Uh, ooh, you got it though. You reduced it. it all. It's pretty good. All right, all right, right. I'll take that other token off Lex Luthor. Perplex you know up his own defense. We'll say it's your go. Calder's been doing it this whole time, but I just realized Thanos has power cosmic, so he's got his willpower roll. Yeah, there you go. Smart. <laughs> right. Oh, wait, is that a four? Oh, it's a four. It's a four. I, I put my mouse yeah, over your six. I was excited mm. for a second. Uh, I will How funny. Uh, I will try and sidestep this turn. Yeah. Okay, it's a good call. It's a good call. Uh, uh, one. Uh, that's I bummer. Could prob that, but what is the point in probing a one? Um, I'll just clear You're Thanos true. and see what happens. I kind of want Calder to right, throw gonna... attacks so I can prob him and get my duplicates going. Okay. Well, perplex up Lex Luthor's attack value. Running shot back one square. Still picking up the enhancement. Going after old thanks here. And if we can, ah, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm smarter than this. No, no. Sapphire, roll for power cosmic, flash quintessence. Okay, it's a one. All right, yeah. Now we're gonna have Lexi the perplex of his attack back a square. All right, let's go ahead. Let's you must do this. roll do this six boy twice. Up. Can you do it? That oh, seems pretty oh. tough. There's uh, our first six. There's one. I will prob it with Thanos. Potentially right, here granting we go. me a duplicate. I'll see a little, little worried. No, uh, no, that will hit for four, four penetrating damage. Okay, nice. So that's uh, it's like Luther. I'll get a token for that. I've lost that. Uh, next up, we'll go ahead. I have you now? What are you looking on? Uh, what are you looking like four penetrating damage puts me on click six. Ooh, that's pretty Wait, good. No. Uh, let's have good old, good old Dawnbreaker. Seven. Yeah, seven. Uh, okay. Dawnbreaker. He's a, he's a 10 for two right now. Penetrating, of course. He'll go ahead. He'll take a shot. Should have perplexed down your defense and not up Lex Luthor's attack. But uh, that will hit. That'll hit a 17. Mm. For one damage. Two damage. Because it is penetrating, Simeon. <laughs> That is Thanos. Then. Oh. <laughs> that is that is unfortunate. This might have been one of our our fastest uh, this was Thursday pretty, throwdown yeah, surprisingly games we've ever played. Um, um, but also, you know, we both just made just attacks. You know how you see how I moved up, and then once you got close <laughs> to me, I didn't just move away for some reason. Instead, I actually yeah. made attacks. That's pretty crazy. It's pretty wild when you actually make attacks in a game of Heroclix. Anyways. Ladies and gentlemen, if you liked this video, 
like, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, Thursday Throwdown comes out every single freaking Thursday until we run out of sets to play. Next week, I will be building out of Avengers, Black Panther, and the Illuminati. And Simeon is building out of X-Men Animated Dark Phoenix Saga. Um, I know in this set, I was really hoping to play some Flex Metallo or maybe uh, a little Prezra card, the figures I cared about from Rebirth. So I'm curious to see what figures you guys cared about from ABPI and XDPS. I know I'm a big Captain America fan. I like the Falcons, the Captain America, the AIM Reds and the Blues. Simeon, what from XDPS were you kind of looking forward to hopefully getting some votes for and playing? Uh, from XDPS, uh, man, there's just... All of the single base figures are kind of bad. Um, Beast was fun. I don't mind the Wolverine. I really liked the Assassin's Guild. Um, other than that, like, man, it's all about those two by twos. It's all about, you know, that uh, green puff dragon and Vange Whedon and. Uh, oh, that's the know, ones we're talking about. Okay. Onslaught, Red Onslaught, Nimrod, you know, all the things that'll be really fun for Calder to go against. Shadow King was there. That would be him, that would be there. rough. That would be really rough. Yeah, yikes. If we do some some trash like that, I would Magics. not have very fun. But anyway guys, thank you so much. Ooh, don't make it a gross game. I just feel dirty having to play against Madrox. It's so nasty. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, happy trails.